Today we're unboxing the Daily Action Planner, my next 90 days from Angela Gia Kim from Savor the Success and Savor Beauty Spa, which I know has nothing to do with planners, so very excited when entrepreneurs start a planner as a separate revenue line. Now this is an undated planner and she had an undated planner previously by the same exact name, the Daily Action Planner, 90 days, and this is the first design layout change she's made in over five years. So very excited to see what's inside. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings like today on Saturdays. Today we're going to do a flip through of this whole planner so you can see what's inside and all of the different pages. And then we are going to go over, just like I've been doing for all of my unboxings, the top things I think she did really great if you are a plannerpreneur and are looking for best practices as well as some things that I might do a little differently. Now the first thing you should know is that this design comes in three different colors. They're all $29.95 each. There's this red pink kind of color. She has a green and then she has like a yellow orange color and then there's an entirely, I shouldn't say entirely different, but an entirely different cover that is all black and that is $34.95. Same thing, it still has the spiral on the outside and all the interior pages are exactly the same. Now she she uses Shopify for her store, and I believe after tax and shipping, this was probably about another additional $15. So this did ship out, like I said, this is the first design change that she's made in over five years. And I say over five years because I actually met her in person, and that's how I discovered her, was at a Saver meeting in New York City. And it was kind of like her monthly, she used to have bi-monthly or monthly meetings and with other women entrepreneurs, and we would do masterminds at the end, but she she always had these her daily action planners on sale right outside of the meeting so the reason um, I say five years is because that's when I first met her and those were the same planners that she's had for the last five years I don't know if she had planners earlier than that and they were different so that's kind of all I know but this is a very radically different design than the previous version so that's why I was really excited to see it and also she had mentioned that she worked with a designer at Vogue uh, to create this particular layout now these planners did ship out late and that's pretty much something that I feel like everybody has problems when you are working with overseas vendors or even just local um, domestic you know drop shipping or anything else there's always going to be delays so watch my other video on how to deal with delays and what you should do because sometimes it's just inevitable no matter how much planning that you try to do so not knocking her for that but that's why this planner came right about the beginning of July and I'm excited to share it with you Right. your box comes just like this now I just ordered one probably it would be a different package if I didn't so nothing pretty it did take an entire week and a couple days I think to get here so do not expect speedy shipping um, there was a packing slip it just basically had my address and that's it uh, they have a lip balm inside of here it smells like raspberry it is so strong it is overpowering I think this is better for a small child but that's just what I think I would never um, I just don't like the smell of lipstick. So it is wrapped in this plastic wrap and it came just like this. It wasn't, it was already pre-cut. And then there's another plastic wrap on top of it. However, the problem, and I don't think people realize this, is when you deliver planners in these tiny packages, which again, I know sh saves on shipping. Um, the problem is your coils, if you have a coiled planner, they get ruined. So I know that's a huge issue. And you can see here, the coil is ruined on this one as well. So um, let's go ahead and open it and see what's inside. Now I ordered the pink and red color. This looks, I'm going to say it looks different than what the colors in real life, I don't know if you can tell, uh, than what I thought I was going to get. And it kind of, it's huge. Honestly, I didn't even realize, I know it said eight by 10. I didn't realize it was so huge until I saw it in the mail. Um, so this is just like regular, like a typical notebook paper. And it has a little design here, her new Saver the Success logo. And she has Saver Beauty, which again, I think that's her other product. She owns a salon or spa, I think in New York. No, not in New York. Is it in New York? I've never been to it. Um, this is her. This is Angela. 
And over here she has a small little note for you. And then she has this divided into what she calls the four components. Now she does do a good job of putting together a system that she likes and that she thinks you can follow. And over here, so it's kind of mixed on being in color and not in color. And I say this all the time. I think, you know, if you're making your own planner, putting pictures in a planner or on a box is a huge absolute no, like just don't do it. Um, you know, you're better with like just a plain design or with icons, but putting a picture looks amazing on digital and social media. It looks horrible when it is actually in print on paper and not in a magazine. All right, oh, uh, she has the first section, what are my dreams, what do I want to achieve? And she has a list, some who am I questions, your section two, looking back, looking forward, your 90 day plan. So you can read through those for pleasure. And she had this before, like how to, how to uh, savor your day. That's her whole thing with her savor program. Um, create lists of things that you like doing. Obviously my list would just have ice cream on it. Um, people you want to connect with. And she had that before too. And this is an undated planner. So I don't know if you guys know this. Her planners before were undated. These are undated. Um, so you do have to write in there, which, you know, if you like bullet journaling, this might be like a pseudo solution for you. And over here is your second month. And it looks like a third month, a fourth month, uh, which is odd because this is a three month planner, but you get four months. Um, over here, she has different sections with inside section three, which is weekly and daily rituals. And these are the daily and weekly rituals that she is offering or suggesting that you follow. And before she had something called frogs, which is like tasks that you hate doing. Um, and it looks like she's done the same thing where she's kind of plant seeds, pull weeds. You know, she had that before, like, she, it's like metaphors for thing, activities that you have to do to bucket in the, them into those groups. Um, week one, what inspires me? Write, collage, sketch in here. Again, it's kind of like, a, like I said, like a pseudo bullet journal if you like that. Detox your brain, list three priorities, savor life daily. And she's added, added a splash of color down here. Um, restructure your day. So this is just a one week setup. And over here, organize your gorgeous chaos. Now that same thing, this was her tagline for her last set of planners. Um, and then some lined pages and then week two. And she does what I call the rinse and repeat. So you have one, two, three, all the way down to 12 weeks, which again coincides with the fact that this is a three month planner. Uh, and then, and uh, you know, what's kind of weird is it used to be 13 weeks, but I guess she's dropped it down to 12. And over here on the last page, she has a section, a picture um, of some makeup, I think, and tea. I honestly I have no idea what that is. Um, but it says gratitude and it's her thank you to her family and her husband. Um, and then some dot, dotted line, dotted pages. I must have line, dotted pages over here in the back. And on the very last section, um, it has looking back, looking forward. So we saw that before in the front of the book. She just seemed to add it here, I guess, for your three month look back and look forward. And then you get some stickers in here as well, just already built into the book. So I actually think this is really nice where it is already in the book. So you don't have to have a separate place to keep them or waste a file folder pocket like she has here in the back um, on your stickers because it's already in the book. Now this file folder pocket, just so you know, is very flimsy. Um, so you can't, don't expect to put a lot of stuff in there. And if you do expect that it will probably um, possibly break. Now it does have more give to it than the bloom planner one. Uh, but again, it's thinner. So I wouldn't chance it with too many pages. And this looks kind of the same on the back. Now this line are, are these, these lines over here kind of remind me of measures from music, sheet music. And if you like that look, um, then this might be a good planner for you. Also, if you like the eight by 10. So was this worth it? Uh, definitely. I think this was nicely done. Now, I, this isn't really my style, um, but it is a good quality notebook and it has a great system in it. If this is something that you like, I don't, I think the weeds and things like, I'm always trying to stay on the positive, possibly too much like Mary Poppins. So for me, that really wasn't a thing for me. But if you like that structure, I think this is a really great idea for you. Now, the only thing that you must be aware of 
in whether you are purchasing this or if you are creating planners is she has called this the daily action planner. This is not a daily planner. This is a weekly planner. Um, it has every week, every day is laid out in a weekly layout. So this is Monday, this is Tuesday, this is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are on one uh, column within a two page spread. This is a weekly layout. There's not a separate page for every day. Now her previous version had a separate page, like actually a two page layout, if I remember right, or even a four page layout for each day. And the problem with that was that was a six by nine. So it's even smaller and it was huge and like chunky because there are so many pages for every day. And because of that, I, it was hard to write. Like it's hard to write on something where the surface of your writing table is here and you're trying to write way up here because you have a huge stack of papers. So I believe that's why she made it this size. But you know, just in general, you know, anytime you are naming your planner system, um, I think she just means like you need to make take action daily, which is fine. But you know, if you're going to name, name something a daily action planner, don't use a weekly layout call it the weekly action planner because people will get confused. I don't even know if people are going to get confused, but I think if you had purchased their system before, you might be a little miffed that is now in a weekly layout, but the name has not changed. So I think that is the number one, um, I would say caveat uh, to beware of for this purchase. But otherwise I think, you know, she did a great job on redesigning this. I might've emphasized that it's eight by 10, a little bit more. Um, I would not have used pictures in the beginning. Like I always say pictures are are always a bad idea on any medium except for a magazine or on digital. And again, I think the packaging, she, I think if you have spiral binding, you should always be super careful because the less packaging you have to save money or if you're trying to do that for shipping, and I understand people do that, these coils bend so easily. I mean, just to make these yourself, I have this Heidi Swap cinch video. It's It just bends it for you. Like it's, it's you know, and obviously when you ship it, they're going to be bent. So, you know, that's just another thing to be aware of. And I don't want to sound like a Debbie Downer because in general I think this is a good planner um, but leave a comment below and let me know what you think like if you heard daily action planner would you have thought it was going to be one page per day or are you okay getting a weekly planner and just knowing that she meant take action every day all right I hope everyone is having a great week and if you are interested in making your own planners make sure to sign up for planner 101 which is a free course and it applies just like if you were Angela Gia Kim and you have another business and you would like to add planners as a separate revenue line we talk about that as well as making it your full-time business all right I have a great week and I'll see you guys next week bye